city where we're double to a real thing. Niggas chitting in the club and your poachings. Yeah, place it with love. Hit the skating land, and you know we cutting up. Hey y'all, this is Kayla Simone. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to give you all my top 10 Mary Kay products. These are products that I swear by, that I love, that I use, if not every day throughout my weekly skincare regimen. So without further ado, I'm going to show you all of my favorite Mary Kay products. And um, if you would do so, please subscribe like now, like now. I would appreciate that. I have no idea why I'm out of breath, but so the first product that I truly love, I use every day and it's almost empty, so I'm going to have to get another one is my Mary Kay 3-in-1 cleanser. So, and most of these products will be skincare related um just because I totally believe in having a great base or foundation before you even start um experimenting more with makeup. Uh, and I'm no expert at makeup by any means, but I feel like my makeup looks best when my skincare is like on 10, you know what I'm saying? Like when it's on fleek, you ain't got to worry about trying to cover up this bump. Now, granted, there are videos out there and, you know, you use things when those things do happen, but I mean, I much rather be on the preventative end than be scrambling for a quick fix because my skin is going crazy because I just don't care about it for the 365 days out of the year. So with this 3-in-1 cleanser, I believe it cleanses, obviously it's a cleanser, it tones, it hydrates your skin, it exfoliates, it does all these things at once. Um, the purple label right here is because I am oily to combination skin. So um, I love the fact that Mary Kay does separate um normal to dry skin oily to combination because i mean honestly you go to the drugstore and you do try and find skincare for you but some of these products don't specify or they're not really built for everybody so i like the fact that they are specific in what they're giving you so this is the mary Kay 3-in-1 cleanser i'm going to kind of do some of these products in order as well um the 3-in-1 cleanser Obviously, afterwards, there's also a middle step for me. So my second favorite is the Day Solution. Now, the Day Solution and most of Mary Kay's items do have SPF 15 in it, which I know for a lot of us African-American women, we really don't feel like we have to have any type of sunscreen or sun protection in our skincare, and that's so false. Like, um, I feel like our... Um, chances of getting skin cancer yes it is a little lower because we have melanin but we still need to protect our skin so the day solution is one of my favorites because you put that on after you cleanse throughout the day and it just kind of helps get a little bit of moisture because even if I'm oily I still need that moisture and it just helps protect my skin and I like the fact that whether I put on makeup or not I can still go out and I'd be okay so my next favorite which is almost gone, is the Mary Kay Night Solution. And if you can see, there are like little beads in here. And they are infused with like vitamins A and E. And these are vitamins that are really, 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 really good for your skin. And the Night Solution is so awesome because when you are sleeping, like it's working while you're sleeping. Mind you, the Day Solution and the Night Solution are both the second step to my Mary Kay skincare regimen. So I will cleanse depending on the time of day, use day or night care. And then onto my fourth favorite is the moisturizer. Now, out of the whole set, the moisturizer and the cleanser are the only two products out of the set that specify a combination of oily or normal to dry, depending on what you are. So the reason why I like this moisturizer is number one, it's not really oily, it's not really cakey, it's not something that sits on your skin. I feel like all of these products really absorb into my skin, which is something that I feel like is important to me because if it sits on my skin, I'm already oily. I don't feel like it's controlling the oils. Henceforth, you know, my makeup's going to slide off hours later and I don't need that. So my number five product is, and this is the smaller version, the set is actually a lot bigger, but this is the microdermabrasion. And this I will only use on my skin maybe 
once a week, twice a week if my skin is really going through it, but once a week. This has like little teeny, 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 like literally so micro tiny beads in it that like literally scrub and exfoliate the dead skin off. I can't tell you how great that is. Like it's almost like it polishes your skin um, as you're, you know, you're going throughout the week and you don't notice how, m how many things kind of build up on your skin, even through your daily washes. So for me, the microderm is like everything because I'm, you know, it's kind of hard to get the beads off. I will like admit that. I mean, I would try to rinse it off with warm water. So try not to use too much. And what I like to do with the microderm to loosen it up and make sure that the beads aren't stuck on my face is that I'll mix it with my cleanser. So I'll put a dab of cleanser on, put the microderm in and rub it in. So my number six from my Mary Kay favorites is their foundation primer. Oh my goodness. So like I never, um, for a while because I didn't start wearing like full faces of makeup until like my junior year of college, I never, 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 never took foundation primers as serious. Like I would grab them from the drugstore and things like that. And I've heard that <clears throat> there is a um, Maybelline one that's really good, but I haven't tried that yet. But I would get this Rimmel Matte Foundation Primer and I do still like that, but it's nothing compared to this. This is like a clear silicone type of consistency. But when I tell you that it blurs, like whatever pores that I do feel like are kind of big or kind of exaggerated, like it blurs your pores, your imperfections. Like I love this stuff. And a little bit goes a long way, which means you're getting your money's worth with these products. And as I go along, I'm going to put the price of these products, the retail price of these products, probably like right in front of me. So if I haven't mentioned it, don't worry about it. I'm going to get to that. Now, my sixth favorite from um, my Mary Kay favorites is the eye firming cream. Now I get it like the time I set in general, which is the three in one cleanser, the moisturizer, things like that. That set in general is meant for anti aging, right? But um, I just feel like you can't I will say you can start too early with anti aging, but I don't think it's bad when the formula is this gentle. Um, I think where younger people go too far with the anti-aging thing is maybe like Botox at 20 or 19 or, you know, these injections and that injections. Like for me, it, it can go either way. It just depends on what it, but as far as anti-aging, not like, um, not like just if you are unhappy with something and you want to change something that's different, but for you to be doing wrinkle treatments and you're barely like, you know, having wrinkles, I think it's better to go more with your skin regimen than to go straight to a doctor because obviously whatever you're doing may be preventable, especially like in your 20s, you can bounce back a lot faster. So the firming eye cream after I, you know, cleanse, do my day or night solution, moisturize, I will like that literally not even like the tip of a pen size amount on my ring fingers. And the reason why I put it on my ring fingers is because, and this is something I learned throughout my Mary Kay training, is that when you dab with your ring fingers, this finger gives the least amount of pressure and your eyes are very, very sensitive. Um, they tend to age faster. So the tightening eye cream, I'll just put a dab of that on my ring fingers, dab under my eyes and they're moisturized and nice. And I feel like this is help, um, this helps my makeup application better too when I'm doing under eye concealer and things of that nature. So my next favorite product is number seven, I believe. And this is Mary Kay's Lash and Brow Serum. Now, I have had so much trouble with my lashes and my brows probably for a long time, at least since I was in elementary school. And, you know, that's a whole nother story. But um, just like people can do DIYs and do like castor oil or aloe vera gel in your eyebrows, this serum really helps to keep your eyebrows conditioned. So I will put this on at night when I go to sleep over my eyebrows just so there's um, less shedding. Because your hair is going to shed anyway, but this prevents it from shedding as much as it normally would. So it's not going to regrow it back, but it does help with sustaining the hairs that you have. So that way they last longer, not shedding as much. And at the end result, thicker, thicker and fuller looking brows. So love this stuff. 
Okay, so number nine, and I think at some point in time I got mixed up, so I'll probably edit in where I messed up um, the number count because I'm going through and I have to like recount the products just to make sure I covered one or the other or whatever. But my number nine favorite, favorite, favorite product, and these aren't going in any ascending or descending order. Like I love these all the same, literally like they're incorporated in my daily use, is the Satin Lips Mask and Balm. So especially in this age of liquid lipsticks and mattifying lipsticks and matte everything, you have to, have to, have to take care of your lips. Your lips definitely age just as much as your eyes do, and you get a lot of fine lines and wrinkles. So with the mask and the balm, what they do is the mask you put on first, you kind of rub it in, it looks a little white, you know, it's a little cracky looking but you put this on first you rub it in and it kind of softens the skin and gets off all the dead skin what I typically do is put the mask on rub it in and get like a damp warm um, towel or a makeup wipe and I kind of wipe off the dead skin and then I will put the balm on and I will let the balm sit on my lips probably the whole time I'm doing like my actual makeup and then by the time I get through my makeup routine my lips are really moisturized I put on my liquid lipstick or whatever once it dries matte, I'm not looking crazy or throughout the day I notice that my lips aren't super crackly. Like, it's cold outside. It's wintertime and we're in Michigan. We don't know, like, what it's going to be like tomorrow. So, love this stuff. <clears throat> my number 10. And let me open it up. Because I bought out a brand new one for y'all because I didn't want to show y'all my janky one. But the Satin Hand Set. There are two reasons why I love this set. Number one, it's just bomb. But not only can you use this on your hands, you can use it on your feet too. And for me, I love products that I can get um, double use out of them. It's almost like, you know, you're getting a two for one special. So with the satin hands, you get a hand softener, which is something that you apply um, prior to washing your hands. You use the hand scrub as you're washing your hands off. So the softener is, to me, almost acts as like the satin lip mask. You put the softener on to soften up whatever rough or dry or crackly or whatever skin that you have that needs some softening up before you scrub it off. And that's where the scrub comes in. So you, you know, give your hands a few pumps, scrub under some running water. And then after that, you apply the hand cream. When I tell you your hands are so soft, and like I said, not just your hands, but your feet too. I've definitely used this on my feet. And I just love the packaging. This is the new Mary Kay, the, um, I think it's like white tea and citrus or something like that. But I love the satin hands. I mean, especially like when you can't always go get your nails done and go to the salon and get all pampered up or whatever. And sometimes they don't even do a great job with manicuring anymore. They kind of just slap whatever on and your hands are like crusty as you're walking out but your nails look cute so I mean like I just I'm not a fan of rough hands not all men not all women it's so funny because men use it like they love it because especially like if you're a carpenter or you're used to working with your hands a lot this is something that can really really just make a difference in how you feel about yourself so that is my top 10 Mary Kay favorites right now um, I Like I said, I literally love these things, use these things, if not every day, every week, because with some of the scrubbing and exfoliants, you don't want to use those every day. Not good for your skin. You don't want to rip your skin off. Um, but hopefully you love this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I will link my Mary Kay website in the description box, as well as the different pages that these products are on. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I hope that I can get out more great content for you. And I will talk to you guys next time. Love you. Peace.